We got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we got a damn good show. Let's get her done. <laughs> All right. Good day, YouTubers. It is a beautiful morning here today. 10.23 a.m. And don't forget, folks, leave a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Well, I am headed to an old cellar hole that I uh, was to on one other occasion, and I planned on getting back to it, so today is the day. And I'm gonna do a little bit of digging in it. I did a little digging last time I was there, got a couple bottles out of it, and some odds and ends. I believe the structure had burnt, so anything that was in it would have fallen down into the uh, cellar. So that's what we're looking at right now. Once I get there, I'll uh, get you back up on. Hang tight. All right, viewers, so I'm at the hole here now. I had a signal right here, just outside the cellar hole up on the, where the main part of the house would have been, I guess, sitting on the ground. Pulled out this old cap and a broken piece of stoneware and a old coat hanger, actually, too. Lots of bricks and stuff here. I'm just down inside the hole here. I'm just kind of scraping along the banks. I see right up next to this tree. Look at that. Old door latch. Awesome. That's pretty nifty. Yeah, right on. All right, folks, that's where I came into the hole, just right up there where I found that door latch. And now I'm over on the opposite side here. This is the section I was digging the first time I was here. And here's some of the stuff from the first time. Some of you may remember, if you're a regular viewers, there's that big uh, double-headed axe, sad iron, some uh, various stove pieces. That's all stuff I dug out here. Here's a couple a couple bottles up in there that come out and this is where I'm gonna be working right in here I think so I'm gonna get at it well folks I hurt the left side of my back yesterday clearing some trees around the house so I'm just taking it easy here today just kind of taking my time I see this is in the hole here I just scraped out Sharpening stone. Looks like it was well used too. Neat little find. Lots of metal down in here. Not really sure how deep this is. So just kind of picking away. All right, I see something sticking out right here out of this big clump I just scooped up out of there. Looks like the handle off something. Let's pick it out, see what it is. Oh, there we go. Let me get it cleaned up a little bit. Huh, hand mixer. Neato. Lots of little relics in here. This little cup shard just come out. Neat one. I would say, given by the nature of the stuff that's coming out of here, I'm right where the kitchen would have been. 
So that could be a good thing as far as finding some bottles goes. There's a bottle. See that? Right here. Oh, it's melted. Sloan's liniment. Okay, I got another jar right here. It looks like a green one from here. Could just be the lighting though, and it'd be nice if it was. I think that it is. It's a nice green jar. And it's base embossed. Okay, I shot my phone off by mistake. <laughs> but uh, there it is there. Meant to lay them. Registered trademark. Nice. Nice green one. I'll put that in the collection. I get enough of these green ones, I might try selling them. Alright, over and out. Let's get back in the hole. Oh, before we get going, yeah. Seems everything's coming out right in this ash layer. There's just brown dirt underneath it, ash right above it, you can see it, and then dirt above that, so. Everything seems to be right in the ash layer, and it's only a few inches thick. Well, this is different, folks. Um, I've had requests can try to get into some doing some privy digging and uh, that would be great I gotta locate some though first and time is the biggest factor because I gotta do videos and I can't spend all my time looking for stuff I gotta work with what I got at hand but if you do enjoy stuff like this because I know where there's all kinds of cellar holes so I don't have to spend time looking for them just comment down below and let me know if you like this cellar hole digging. Look at that great big wedge-shaped spike just come out. And maybe I'll do more of this sort of thing too. Mix it up a bit. Just digging. I enjoy this. It's a weird item there. This weird doodad just come out. It's got like a little hook on the end of it here. No idea what it is. I'll keep you up while I scrape around a little bit here. Maybe we'll get a live find. Another relic, folks. That's the second sad iron to come out of this place. This one appears to be embossed or has some lettering on it here. Let's see if we can make it out. Something woody. Woody at and company looks like. I wonder if I should keep that. Oh, back. <laughs> Something Canada. Guelph, Canada? I'm not sure. Interesting though. Heavy too. That is. This 
little brown shard just come out I picked it up thinking it might have been looked like it was off a uh, poison iodine bottle but this face is uh, all textured it's not from a poison iodine bottle but it's definitely from some sort of poison bottle it would have been a beauty Rifle shell just come out, folks. I can't read the base of it here. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what that says. I'm not really focusing for you either. All right, well, I'll have a get it cleaned up, have a look at it, and post a picture or something of it. All right, all going, folks. I need to get a drink of water. Oh, there's another melted bottle. It's a piece of green glass. Well, a couple of things just come out, folks. Nothing to get too excited about, but there's an old lantern piece. There's some lettering on it there. Sanner, maybe? Looks like S A N N E R. I could be way off on that, of course. Sometimes there's lettering right on the end of this. I can't make any out if there is. Maybe that says banner. Kind of neat. And then there's just this old melted medicine bottle. He's flattened right out. It's unembossed too, so no big loss. There's some bricks in there. Holy jump. Coming out, there's more glass there. Oh, that was embossed. Didn't recognize it. Something in New York. Yeah, right, I'm gonna clear some of these bricks out here. Looks like I got a bottle right here, folks. That's an old razor. Well, I'm gonna call it a day, folks. Didn't get into a big patch of bottles, but uh, still fun digging around. Did get that sad iron. I think I will take that and try to clean it up. Maybe give it a nice black paint job. They look nice cleaned up. I'll uh, just do a quick look at some of the stuff here. There's part to uh, some glasses that come out. That razor. Actually, I think it's two. That one, and then that's a piece off another one. Sloan's liniment. Loads and loads of Sloan's liniment. Melt it and unmelt it. 
this piece here there is some lettering on that can't make it out sharpening stone hand mixer oh this here you didn't see that that's a, a part of a pulley or something a little wheel in there this big hook you didn't see that I pulled that out and lots of other hinges and square nails and spikes and that sort of thing here's another big hinge I pulled out anyways I'm gonna get out here for now thanks for watching folks leave a thumbs up comment down below let me know if you like watching this sort of thing. Well, I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody.